I'm currently trapped on this $1 private island. But today, I'm gonna show you how to turn it into a multi-million dollar private island. Every island needs a grill, and this one's super easy to build. We're gonna put some looms in the middle with some trap doors, and underneath, we're gonna do a campfire. This is gonna give us that nice smoky effect like the grill is on. We're gonna throw some candles on the side, a glow item frame with a cooked chicken, and then some trap doors for the grill where you can open and close it. And then some signs over the glowing item frames, and boom! you have yourself a fancy grill. If you guys have a lot of extra room on your private island, you can of course build a playground as well. A slide, a swing set, all kinds of stuff. This is gonna be the slide. We're gonna do some staircase underneath and then a staircase on top as well. A staircase on the back so you can actually kind of crawl up the slide with a ladder. Now remember, you guys can make these builds as big or as small as you want and use any blocks possible. I'm using these new bamboo blocks because they look really good. They just got added into Minecraft and they're perfect for a private island because it's bamboo. We're gonna do some bamboo trap doors down the side of the slide that is going to kind of give us some walls so you don't fall off. Eh, hey, bonjour! Voila! Now we're gonna build a playground bridge. This is super easy to build, and you can even build this over a ravine if you wanted to. It would actually look really cool. We're gonna do some of these bamboo slabs, and then we're gonna use chains in the middle to look like it's holding on the rest of the bridge. You can make this bridge as big or as long or as wide as you want. We're only gonna do three steps here on this one because we don't have that much room on the beach. And then we're gonna build our other little platform here. So we need to do some bamboo fence. I'm just kind of copying what we did on the other side. And then, yeah, so we went three high with the fences. And then we also have some slabs as well that we can put down. It's kind of an extra stair step. And look at that, you have yourself a little bridge. If you wanna get extra detailed with it, you can even do some gates. And then we're gonna throw some more chains on the side to kind of act as handrails for the bridge. Some more chains on the side. Boom, now it looks pretty good. Look at that, and then we can go ahead and walk across it. You just gotta make sure you don't fall through the chains. <laughs> Another part of the playground we can build is a little kind of castle thing with some swings off to the side. This is kind of like your classical playground equipment. It's got, it's the top of the playground, the king of the playground. Do some bamboo fences up here for the top, and then we'll do some slabs for the roof of the playground, the kingdom, as you might say. And then some fence gates that go around the side, voila, bon. Bonjour. Then over here, we were going to make the swing set. So we're gonna do some trap doors on top of this. We got some fence posts and some walls. And then you can do a chain. We're gonna do two chains hanging from these gates. And then we can do a trap door on the bottom of them. Let's break the middle one. And you have two little swings. Very nice. Since private islands are surrounded by water, no private island would be complete without a giant water slide. That's exactly what we're gonna build here. We're actually gonna build multiple lanes on this slide, but it's totally up to you how big you wanna make this slide. You can make it 200 blocks high if you really wanted to. We're not gonna make one too, too big, but that's about the size we're going for. So you wanna build kind of an incline as it goes up, and you can also pick how steep you wanna make this slide as well. We're gonna do four different lanes here, but five different colors on the slide. The slides are gonna be one lane long and the water is going to go kind of between these colors. Pretty much going to replicate exactly what we built with the blue to the yellow to the green to the orange. It's also fill in the middle of the slide. You want to go one block back kind of because you want the blue and the yellow here to act as sides of the slide so you don't fall out, if that makes sense. Just like that, as you can see. So the water will go on the green part. Let's do the same thing with the orange, the red, and the green colors, because we got four lanes on this slide. There we go, we got all the lanes. Now, of course, this would not be complete without building a structure. So we're going to do some fence gates right here, and then we gotta build a structure behind the slide so you can actually get up to the top. We're, of course, gonna use bamboo for that, because this bamboo looks so good on this private island. We're gonna build these legs here. We need like a staircase structure that people can walk up and slide down the slide. Now we're gonna start the staircase process. We're gonna go ahead and dig in the ceiling here. Now you can make the staircase however you want, honestly. You can just do a ladder if you want to, but I feel like the staircase is fancy, it's cool, it makes the structure of the slide look really sleek and nice. And it's also an experience, just walking up this big staircase, going to this big slide, getting ready to slide down. It's more for the looks. Now we also have some hanging bamboo signs. We're gonna use this as the walls for our slide. 
That looks really good. We did that on all four layers. Go ahead and drop in all our water and we have ourselves a freaking water slide, boys. Look at that, that is sick. That looks so good. Okay, I wanna go down it. All right, let's try it out. Let's try it out. Oh, not bad for a little slide. You can race all your friends as well. What if you randomly decide that you wanna turn your private island into a carnival? So you wanna build a carousel with a real horse. That is exactly what I'm gonna show you how to build and it's actually a lot easier than you think. So we build this middle section and then we do these upside down staircases around it like a big square. And in the middle, that little track there is where the horse is gonna go. We got some redstone on the bottom and we're going to use this as a rail system for the horse to go around. So super simple to make, just throw some redstone blocks. Then we're gonna drop in some carpet and then let's go ahead and throw in our horse, might as well. So we're gonna spawn in our horse right here and then we got to get him in the bucket just like so <laughs> and then he's just gonna start going around okay let's try to stop this boy all right all right chill 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 everyone everyone take a chill pill we got two of them now this is exactly how it's gonna work we can even put armor on them they look really sick and then we can go ahead and cover carpet on top of the rails because it looks kind of ugly push these guys out of the way and look at that we can cover all this up and now it looks much cleaner that looks so good we're gonna use some end rods here to build the top of the carousel because you know carousels always have that big fancy tent that goes around them that's exactly what we're gonna build it's all for the looks baby i'm just gonna throw a bunch of random colors up here we'll start with some red and then do some different colors in the middle but pretty much this is just gonna be a bunch of random colors and kind of a little bit of a pattern you can do whatever colors you want we're gonna do some lanterns here to give us a little bit of extra light but it also will look cool on the inside when you're looking up because usually carousels have a ton of cool lights in the ceiling let's make the corners real nice here with some slides Labs, voila, bonjour. Now we need to fill in this middle part and we're pretty much gonna do that with just a bunch of random colors. So I'm just gonna start placing down these and we'll see what looks bad, what looks great, but make sure you mix up the colors. Make sure you don't put two colors next to each other because it will look weird. And voila, there we go. We got our colors on the top. We got our horses down there and you can hop on any of these horses and just start riding them along and they'll just They'll just keep going. And also, if you wanted to, you could make this carousel a lot bigger. This is obviously a pretty small one. You can make it four times the size if you wanted to. Every island needs a fancy speedboat. And that is exactly what we're building right now. It's not gonna be a yacht or anything crazy, but I can tell you it is gonna look good and it is gonna look fast. We're gonna lay out the basic foundation of this boat. It's important that it starts kind of sharp at the front and gets wider as it goes to the back, just like this. Fill in all these blocks. We're gonna use white quartz for this because you know it's a, it's a nice white sleeve boat you can really use whatever color you want but i think white definitely looks the best then we're going to use some mangrove planks as this is going to be the base wood or the interior color of the boat let's actually do some slabs here bring it a little lower and then these are going to be our seats for the boat it's going to be where the captain sits all right then let's go ahead and build up this front using those quartz blocks we're going to pretty much layer it all the way down the side of the boat kind of building the walls of the boat let's go ahead and do some stair slabs on the side here and then finish off the rest of those blocks towards the end. Another stair slab for the very end of the boat, just like so. And then we're gonna do some more of the mangrove slabs, this nice wood, which is the interior finish, and then finish out the front as well with some solid blocks and then some more stairs right there. There you go. So you kind of see the outline. You kind of see where I'm going with it, all right? And then we can do some other slabs in the back and then a grindstone, which is the engine. Let's go ahead and throw some glass right here. It's gonna be our windshield for the front of the boat. We can put some black carpet on top just for a nice little detail touch. And then let's go ahead and throw some redstone here. This redstone's not gonna do anything. It's just the controls of the boat. It's more so just for the looks and then a lever as well. Dude, look at this. This thing already looks sick. And we're not even done with it yet. All right, let's throw some buttons on the side here. Just to add some detail on the front of it. And we can also do another staircase on the front just to bring out the front and make it look a little more aggressive. You know, boats curve in the front. Yeah, there we go. Now we're gonna get detailed with the snow. So we're gonna build up layers of snow here to kind of build up the railing around the speedboat. Just like so, we're gonna put it on these quartz blocks and let's build it up all the way to the glass. 
Dude, that actually looks really good. Let's do it on the back as well, kind of building up the back side. We'll do three layers here and then two and then one layer. And I think our boat is pretty much done. This thing looks so sleek. Unfortunately, it doesn't actually drive, but it looks really good parked in front of your private island. I'm gonna build a hot air balloon because it would be so cool to see a hot air balloon floating above your private island. This was actually super simple to make, but I'm gonna get really detailed on this hot air balloon just for fun. You don't have to get this detailed, but it's gonna look crazy. This is just gonna be insane. So this is our bucket for the balloon. We're gonna go ahead and put some fence posts on the side. We need some railings here so we don't fall out. And there we go. We're even gonna have an active fire as well. Like it's it's gonna be totally legit. Throw some cocoa beans on the side. These are like kind of like the weight things that go inside the air balloons. I don't really know much about air balloons, but I got a picture of one, so I'm kind of building it. We can use bone meal to make these grow. Dude, that looks actually so good. Underneath, we're gonna do some trap doors and then we're gonna drop some chains on the side. Very nice. Very nice, very nice, very nice. We're gonna do chains on the side here. This is actually what's going to be attached to the balloon itself and the fire pit. Now we're gonna do some trap doors around this and then our fire pit's gonna go right here. So we're just gonna drop in four campfires and this is what pretty much makes the balloon fly. Finish off the trap doors on the ceiling so you don't catch your head on fire and then we'll do some more chains right here to actually attach the balloon itself. The balloon itself, we're gonna make it into a giant bee, yeah. That's right. You can make this balloon look however you want, but I just thought it'd be funny if it looks like a giant bee that was flying with a hot air balloon. To start this, we're gonna lay out a big foundation for the balloon with a ton of wood. We're gonna leave that middle part open because we want the smoke to flow into the balloon as if it was real. Then we're gonna start building the yellow frame around the bottom of these slabs. And then after that, I got a picture here of a bee and I just gotta make this thing look like a giant bumblebee. It was a bit of a process making this bee, but it's honestly just looking at the pictures and trying to make it as realistic as I can. We're gonna have to go through multiple different colors, multiple different shades of colors as the bee kind of changes. We got a basic layout of the bee. Now we have just built the back end of the bee here. So this is his uh, a butt. And then of course, bees also have stripes. So we need to layer in his stripes here. And then we're actually gonna do different shades of the stripes going from the terracotta to the wool, which adds some nice depth and detail. I told you I'm getting detailed on this. All right, so we got terracotta to the brown wool. There we go. Just like that. Look at that. All right, let's build up this a little bit because I think we're going to put his eyes here. Yes. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so we're gonna do the eyes. We're gonna do the eyes here. And then it also has different layers of black with the blue in it. So we wanna get detailed with the black concrete powder and then the blue concrete powder. There are his eyes. And then we have his little whisker things on top of his head, his little antennas. Oh, dude, that actually is starting to look like a bee. And then we got this bottom part, which is kind of like the bottom of his mouth. And then let's do a couple different colors of yellow here just to add some more detail. And then what about, then what about some wool on his forehead? Like the top of him is kind of furry, so I think the wool would be nice. A couple different layers of this orange and brown and yellow going down the side of him. And we also got his tail, of course, as well. Cannot forget that. And then we also have the wings. Cannot forget the wings. So we gotta kind of make this boy fly, even though it is a giant balloon, but the wings just add for some really nice detail. Go ahead and stretch those boys out. There we go. Oh, oh this is looking sick. Oh, I like that. Look at that, I think it's done. The hot air bee balloon. Dude, this thing is so sick looking. <laughs> For some extra fun, we're gonna build a working trampoline on our private island. This one is super easy to build. You're gonna put a slime block underneath with a piston and then go ahead and layer it around with whatever block you want. This is the edge of the trampoline. I prefer to do a fun color because, you know, trampolines are fun. This is gonna be a good looking trampoline. We're gonna do side walls as well so you don't fly out of the trampoline. We got some legs for the trampoline that we're putting on right now with this black stone wall. And then we'll go ahead and do iron bars for the fences of the trampoline. These fences are important, especially in Minecraft, guys. I can easily bounce off and fly off this cliff here. We're just gonna continue this fence, keep building it up with the black stone walls. It's kind of our entrance to the trampoline, so we can go ahead and do a staircase right here as well. And then you have your trampoline. We can do some trip wires here. Maybe you can like hang your coat on it or something. I don't know. I'm just kidding. This is actually what is going to activate the redstone for the trampoline. So we're going to do some strings here that is going to attach these trip wires. And then whenever 
And then wait for it. All we need to do is just drop some redstone right below the trampoline and connect it to the piston, which is in the middle right there. And you have yourself a working trampoline. The second you step on this trampoline, it's going to fly you in the air when you hit the trip wires and it's just going to keep bouncing you. You don't even have to touch the keyboard. You just keep bouncing when you're on this trampoline because you keep hitting the trip wires, which activates the piston. Dude, that is actually so cool. That is nice. This is one of my favorites. I'm gonna show you guys how to make a mini golf course. Really easy to build. We're going to lay out the foundation first of this little course with some court slabs. Great thing about a cool little golf course on a private island is you can make it look however you want. You can make it massive, small, big. You can make a loop if you wanted to. We're just gonna make a super simple one with some obstacles. So we do need to dig up all the grass that is along this course because we're going to be replacing it with different stuff. We're gonna be filling this entire thing with ice, which is going to allow the ball to slide through the course. This is super, super crucial. This is all packed ice, so it shouldn't melt. It should be perfectly fine. There we go. And then, <laughs> of course, we got to make it look like grass. So we're going to cover the entire thing with green carpet. Now that's done. We can start adding in the details. This is going to be a little dispenser with fireworks whenever you make it in the hole. And then with a light pressure plate, and then we're going to do bamboo, and this is going to be the flag. Hopefully you're good enough to make a hole in one and those fireworks will be going off. This is gonna be our flag. Flags are always kind of difficult to make. You just kind of gotta do something weird with them and yeah, you know, that looks fine. It's not bad. Now it's time for our obstacles. So it's totally up to you how you want to make these obstacles. I'm just gonna do some walls over here and then some sand to slow down the ball. That looks pretty difficult. Another one there. What about another one here? Uh, cobweb. Then we could do some more sand. Oh, then we could do some water right here. If your ball falls in the water, that's not good. Some more cobwebs. Then we could do some sand in the corner to slow down the ball if it bounces off that wall over there. Let's do a little bridge as well. Like your ball has to make it through this little bridge. We'll do some trap doors for a little bit of detail. Another slab we'll do, should we do sand in the middle? Oh, that's kind of savage. Let's drop a cactus in. If you hit that cactus, your ball literally disappears. And we'll drop in some more water right here. So you definitely want to go around that cactus and the water. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, I just made it really hard now. Look at that. Let's build a fancy little gate too for the start of the course. There we go. Drop in the slab upside down. And then you kind of do the staircase that goes across with the smooth quartz. There we go. Oh, yeah. Ah, that's cool. I like that. All right, then we got the barrel and we can throw the snowballs in there, which are your golf balls. Now, let me show you how this works. Once it falls in, the firework pops off and you win. We built a boat, but now it's time to build a jet ski. Of course, your private island needs a freaking jet ski. So we started off with some trap doors and then we're going to place down some of these beautiful blue blocks. You can use whatever blocks you want. It's gonna depend on the color of your jet ski. Then we're gonna do some little slats here. This is kind of where your feet go because you kind of sit in the middle of the jet ski, you know? Then we got the front part of the jet ski with some slabs and then end rods for the handlebar. Then we got some trap doors on the side and the back for a little bit more detail. Detail. We also got the slab here and then the grindstone for the engine. And then for some extra detail, we're going to put some signs around the side to kind of act as like bumpers or kind of the side body of the jet ski. And there you go. You got yourself a jet ski. You can build three of them if you wanted to. Park them up all on the beach. You can ride it just like that. There you go. It's kind of big, but it's it's fine. Now we're going to build a freaking helicopter because you have to get on your private island. And if you don't have a boat, maybe you got a helicopter. These are the legs of the helicopter. And then we're going to use some trap doors here to pretty much build the bottom part of the helicopter. Now, I know a helicopter sounds very confusing, but I promise it's a lot easier to build than you think. Then we're going to place some solid quartz blocks on top of those and then we're gonna do some white shulkers on the side of that and then just go ahead and finish those out then we got some staircases right on the front that's the front of the helicopter right there then we're gonna drop some slabs on top of that and then do some white concrete this is like the tail of the helicopter so it's gonna kind of go out a little far once we build it up all right so the base of the helicopter is looking good now let's go ahead and put in some glass because that is going to be where we're going to see out of the helicopter. And then that is our seat for our pilot. So this is a small helicopter. It's not a massive one that holds like 20 people. And then we're gonna build up this bottom part, which is kind of the top 
part of the helicopter now. And we can kind of alternate between the quartz and the white concrete because it looks really good and gives the, gives the helicopter some depth and color to it. And then a trap door on top and then your slabs on the ceiling, just like so. That middle part right there is gonna be where our engine is going to go, but let's go ahead and get out this tail. That is the engine of our helicopter. And then we have some gates here that we can open up going to the engines, kind of like the exhaust pipes or something. And then let's go ahead and build out this tail. There we go. We'll do some slabs with that. Oh, looks nice. Well, we wanna make kind of a circular thing here. This is a little hard to do, but you need to do it with staircases. And the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna pretty much gonna do this and then a staircase on top and then a slab underneath and you have yourself a circular tail. Now let's do a brewing stand right here because this is going to be the blades, the main blades of the helicopter. And we're gonna kind of build these out a little sideways instead of making them like perfectly straight because they are kind of like curved, you know? We're gonna do four blades on this helicopter all going different directions opposite of each other. And then here is the fourth one right here. Bada bing! Oh, bada bang! Look at that! Wow, that, dude, that actually is looking really sick. That, that looks like a legit helicopter. Some extra detail, we're gonna put some buttons on the side as well. And then we'll go ahead and drop in some signs on the side. And after the signs, our helicopter's done. Look at that. What about a submarine for your private island? So you can go underwater and explore the depths of the ocean around you. This thing is going to look so sick. We're gonna go with the classical yellow color. And this is our, this is kind of our wall of the submarine. We're gonna build half of the submarine kind of underwater because it's kind of like already sinking a little bit. This is the bottom part of the submarine and then we need to build another wall here. So the submarine is basically like a giant tube kind of. Think of it like a Pringles can, but the Pringle at the end of the can is already eaten. That makes sense, so it's sinking. We're gonna build up this big Twinkie, just like so. It's a giant school bus, all right? Now let's go ahead and build this top part a little bit. Um, let's just build this whole thing. We're gonna dig a little bit of this stuff out, but let's just build this whole Twinkie. You got your Twinkie now. It's a big, giant rectangle. Now let's turn it into a submarine. This is gonna be the front of the submarine. Let's go ahead and do some glass here because that is how you're gonna see. Let's go ahead and do a slab on the side. And now we have our fancy stuff that submarines have. So we're gonna do the little, you know, the redstone lamps, the little light detectors for your lights so you can see underwater. We also got some black concrete on the side, maybe to act as engines or whatever. On the side of your submarine, we're gonna drop in some windows and you can do as many windows as you want. I'm just gonna do three because I feel like submarines don't have that many windows. Like usually they don't have really any windows unless you're deep water exploring. On the top of the submarine, we're gonna add some black concrete and this is gonna be the top where you kind of enter. So we're gonna do some of this tinted glass, then more black concrete. And we are pretty much going to there we go, just like so. And then a trap door. This is like the, the fin of the submarine, the breathing tube, you know, like on a snorkel. There you go. We're gonna do some white quartz on the side to lighten it up a little bit. Voila! We'll do some extra white quartz on the side to kind of like support this little frame because it kind of looks awkward on the side, so. A little extra detail there. Yeah, that looks a lot better. And in the back, we're kind of going to build the engines. So it's like a little propeller looking thing that kind of propels it, spins and stuff, you know? Voila, we got a couple propellers. We got a lot of propellers. We got all the propellers. Y you can kind of build this however you want, but I think that actually looks... Oh, that looks not... Nice. Yeah, I like that. Maybe dig the sides out. Yeah! Advanced propeller. Maybe put some cobwebs on it, like this thing hasn't ran in a long time because it is, hasn't and it will never move ever again because it doesn't actually work. There we go, a little bit more detail on the back end with some extra yellow cobble to round out these back end. Ooh, yeah, that looks nice. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, I think we're done. Maybe a trap door. Yeah, trap door to keep the water out. Uh, also, you should probably put a sponge in here to soak up all the water. Yeah, <laughs> we should probably, there you go. That looks a lot better. The inside, you can do pretty much whatever you want. So I'm gonna throw in some simple uh, staircases for seats. We're also gonna do a ladder here. Then we can do kind of like a front little desk here and then some controls with a redstone torch. Also, you could do a glow frame with a map. That actually looks really cool. So you know exactly where you are in the ocean at all times. And then we got our staircase for a seat. Then we can do some arms to the seat as well, just to make it look a little nicer. And voila, a bonjour. You can add another map to the back of the submarine. You can also throw a bed and a chest back here. You can literally put whatever you want in this thing. This is like your second home. That is it. That is our submarine. Close the hatch, ladies and gentlemen. That looks sick. Now we're gonna build a freaking private jet. If for whatever reason, a helicopter was not enough, 
We got a whole runway. A whole plane, baby. This thing gonna fly, and it's gonna be a, a decent sized plane. It's definitely gonna be a big build, but stay along with me here, because it's gonna look freaking sick. And maybe you could build a whole airport at your private island. That would be pretty sick. This right here is the front of the plane. This is the first wheel, the first, uh, you know, the, the nose of the plane, the cone, whatever you wanna call it. The bottom of this plane is pretty much gonna be all trap doors. It's gonna be kind of like that, that solid rough material under the plane, and then we're gonna build up the body of it as well. And then let's do some slabs in the middle here. This is gonna be kind of our, our foundation, our cone, our Pringle can, if you must. All right, let's go ahead and layer this down. We got some nice, 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 nice quartz blocks. These are so nice. Now it's time for some glass to the front. This is where the pilots look through and see where they're going. And then we got some stained glass for that. And then another note, it kind of looks like a duck, does it? I Yeah, maybe it will look better once we finish. Okay, so these are gonna be the spacing parts uh, for the door. And then we got some other spaces here. Here. These are going to be where we're going to put the windows. And we'll do some more black concrete for the back. And all right. And then the engines are going to be under the wings. So this is going to be a pretty big plane. These are the windows for the passengers, as you can see. And then this is going to be our door. Just a normal door for an airplane. You know, we don't need an airlock seal or anything like that. We're gonna do slabs on top of the windows that we just made on both sides. If you're still with me, we're already almost halfway done. So this is, I'm telling you, it's, it's a big plane, but it's not gonna be that hard to build. And then we got some slabs on top of the pilots as well. And then we're gonna go up a little bit in the middle for the slabs to kind of make that, you know, Pringle can effect of this giant cone looking thing. All right, some buttons for details so you can actually open the door. And then of course we have like the private jet kind of like staircase looking thingy mabobber that folds. Now we got this back part of the of the wang, the kind of the wing that goes up in the back. I don't know what you call that thing. Pilots, any pilots watching? No? Okay. And this top part is the top of the wing that goes up. There we go. Ah, that's nice. Yeah. Okay, we're getting somewhere with this thing and then we kind of have those wings on the back of the plane as well that kind of look like that. Yeah, that's not bad. Kind of build that out there and then do a little staircase on the end. Very nice, very nice. Now now it's time, now it's time for the big wing. This is the what makes the bird fly. If you think about it, a plane is just a bird. It's a it's just a giant bird. All right, and this is this is our wing for our bird. We're gonna do a staircase on the end to kind of do that little winglet. Winglet, is that what it's called? Winglet? It's like a chicken wing, but it's a wing. I'm just gonna stop making jokes. We're gonna build the exact same wing on the other side, and then we're going to attach the engines. Voila, look at that! All right, we got a grindstone here. This is kind of like our landing gear. So we have our tire and then, dude, that actually looks really good. Grindstones are great. Now it's time for the engine. All right, so we're gonna have this boy hang off the edge here, and then we're going to do a, let's put a button right there. Go ahead and knock out the other side, and you have yourself a freaking airplane, boys. We did it. We did it. It doesn't fly, but we did it. Let's go ahead, let's go ahead and some controls for the pilots, that might be important. And then this is kind of the back of the plane. You can throw some seats in there, voila. Um, and then another seat for the pilot here, and you are set. You are good to go. Maybe a little bit of trap doors in the back for a little bit more detail. You got yourself a freaking airplane, dude, on your own private island. If you have a private island in Minecraft, you probably have a lot of golden diamonds, which means you need to make a bank vault to store all your stuff. This is something that you can build inside of your house. We're gonna build a massive vault door here just like this, and it's gonna look like the door is open. So you can't actually close it. It's more so just for looks, so make sure you actually secure your stuff. We're gonna do some iron there, and then we got another netherite block, and then we got some end rods that kind of control the middle of this locking mechanism. And then we can do some buttons here. This is kind of like for the combination thing, and then this would be inside your vault, so you can put really whatever you want inside the vault. So we're gonna build something cool here with shulker boxes, just to show you an example of what you could do. And then we could do a bunch of buttons in between, so it just kind of looks fancy. You could store some stuff in here. We can put our gold in here, you know, whatever you want inside the shulker boxes. You can also build some shelves and put some dried kelp blocks. These things kind of look like bags of money, low key, like, so they're really cool to just stack on shelves. It looks, looks for a perfect bank vault material. You could have a shelf with some sick armor on it as well. Just throw that on there. Dude, that looks actually really, really cool. Of course, you gotta build the classical stack of gold. You could do a stack of emeralds. You could do a stack of diamonds in the corner. 
as well. There we go. That actually looks really, really cool. I like that. Some classical red carpets. Gotta look a little fancy in here. You gotta wipe your feet when you come in, you know? And voila! You have yourself the inside of a bank vault and the bank vault door that is slightly open. If you like this video, go check out this video where I build tons of crazy build hacks on planet Mars.